Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today I want to talk about a horror movie or you know a found footage movie basically that is uh, disgusting and I never want to see this movie again. So the movie that I want to talk about today is called Hannibal not Hannibal, Cannibal Holocaust. It's a movie from the year 1980 and it is basically the first found footage horror movie uh, ever made. Now, uh, this movie was filmed back in 1979 and the movie is about a group of filmmakers, a group of, you know, documentarists that, uh, you know, do some filming in the Amazon rainforests, you know, to look for some native indigenous tribes and, you know, to do some, you know, to just shoot some stuff, you know, sure. Why not? So basically this movie begins uh, by, uh, you know, showing us how basically they all got killed and they basically find uh, footage of, uh, or film reels, you know, of what they shot, right? So then we watch these executives in New York where they basically watch the footage that was filmed. And, uh, you know, they find it repulsive, disgusting, awful, you know, uh, just because the stuff the film crew has done is disgusting, repulsive, awful, you know. So what they basically done is that they were killing indigenous people, they burned their villages, they slaughtered some kids, they uh, raped, they pillaged. They just did some terrible stuff, basically, right? So that's what the movie is about. It's about, you know, uh, showing us the footage of what they filmed, what the film crew has filmed, right? And so this movie is, like, on a basic level, it's entertaining enough, you know? It's, uh, it feels real because this movie was filmed in uh, the Amazon rainforests in Colombia, so the locations, uh, they just do feel real. Like, everything in this movie feels real, you know, which is kind of scary. And some things are unfortunately real, but we'll get to that, and that's also the reason why I never want to see this movie again, right? So, yeah, so... Basically, the movie, uh, you know, is about the, the footage, right? The, what they shot, you know? So there's, like... And by the way, also, the gore in this movie, it all just looks so real. And, you know, like, the, there's a scene, basically, where they burn down, like, the whole village. And it just all looks so real, you know? It's sort of like, you're sort of doubting if what you're seeing is, you know, fake. And some things aren't fake. So, basically, uh, multiple cast and crew members were uncomfortable with the film's graphic content, right? So, in particular, the genuine killings of animals. Yorke described the shoot as having a level of cruelty unknown to me, and was initially unsure if he was taking part in a snuff film. When his character was scripted to kill a pig on camera, Yorke refused, leaving the duty to Luca Barnesciani. Basically, this movie was made by an Italian director. So, uh, Yorke traveled with the pig to the set and felt that he formed a relationship with the animal. When it was shot, the emotional impact of hearing the pig squeak uh, subsequently caused Yorke to botch a long monologue and retakes were not an option because the production did not have access to additional pigs. Kerman similarly objected to the killing of the Kowadi, which Kowadi is this, like, really cute-looking animal, and it also gets killed, and he stormed off of the set while its death scene was filmed. Uh, he also repeatedly pressed Diodante, which was the director, to let the animal go in the minutes leading up to filming. Uh, Perkerman cried after filming the butchering of a turtle, and crew members vomited off camera when a squirrel monkey was killed for the film. So, yes, this movie actually has real animal deaths in it. And it's not just, like, a pig, you know, or a turtle, but it's also a monkey. It's also this, you know, another cute-looking animals. It's sort of disgusting, you know? I think that killing animals just, you know, it's just so you can film a movie, just so you can film a scene, 
that's uh, just not it, you know? So they killed like five, six animals in this movie, which was really hard to watch for me because I don't like animal cruelty. So this was just really hard to watch. And honestly, it was just pretty disgusting. Uh, also, the film's sexual content also proved a point of contention among the cast crew members. Uh, Chiardi did not want to bear her breast during the sex scenes between her and Yorke, and she became agitated with him during the filming of the scene. When she refused to comply with the, direct with the direction, Diodate, the director, let her off the set and scream at her in Italian until she agreed to perform the scene as instructed. Yorke also became severely upset while filming a scene in which his character takes a part in a rape of a native girl. So that's also a scene in the movie where, you know, uh, the filmmakers, the documentaries, they basically rape, gang rape, uh, you know, a native uh, indigenous girl. So, you know, that's also a scene in the movie. The film's content had given Yorke anxiety throughout his time in Colombia, and this tension peaked during the rape scene. His experiences on the set ultimately weighed so heavily on him that Yorke ended his relationship with his girlfriend in New York shortly after his return from the Amazon. So it basically uh, destroyed him mentally. So that's awesome, right? So. Yeah, uh, this movie has some really awful stuff in it, and you know, I, I get the message of this movie, by the way. I get it. It's about, you know, uh, do not exploit indigenous people, right? Like, that's the message of this movie. But this movie is just so disgusting by actually killing so many, you know, animals on set, and about, you know, uh, the director yelling at the, the actors and basically giving them PTSD and all that. It's, uh, it, it's not good. It's uh, sort of disgusting. And, you know, I never want to see this movie ever again. I, I, again, my friend told me to watch it and I was like, sure, you know, it sounds interesting enough. And if, you know, uh, the movie was made without the killing of the animals and, you know, without all the abuse by the director, it would be okay and I would maybe recommend you guys to w give it a watch, you know? But, uh, as it stands, I definitely do not recommend watching it, you know, especially if you don't like seeing, uh, cute animals getting killed. Yeah, so... Uh, that's Cannibal Holocaust for you. Uh, this movie was banned in, in a lot of countries back in the 80s. Uh, nowadays, it's obviously available everywhere, so you can go ahead and watch it, even though I don't recommend watching it. Uh, and, you know, it's, it, it's just not, it's just not a great time. Anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye.